Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. I pray you guys are all doing well today. I have been off my main channel here for a few days now, seven days. And when we left off here, we were at the sign of Jonas, the hybrid solar eclipse in the constellation of the whale on April 19th and April 20th. And then uh, from there, I got blocked off of my main channel and I have shared a few pieces of information off of my backup channel. But for those of you who have not been able to follow my backup channel, I want to share uh, the information that I shared there here again. But I also have new information uh, looking at Pentecost, very important information. And so I want to uh, go over all of this with you and do an overview of what we've seen until now and share the new information with you. Okay, I want to start here. And this information was sent to us by Brother Daniel Taylor. What an amazing piece of information this is. So we have the sign of Jonah, which was the hybrid eclipse in Cetus the whale. The sign of Jonah, as it says in Jonah 3, 4, And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. From Wednesday, April 19th to Sunday, May 28th, 2023, it is forty days. May 28th, 2023, is Pentecost. We have... A sign 40 days before Pentecost the sign being the sign of Jonah in the whale gives us the understanding of 40 days and 40 days takes us right to Pentecost now if you look at the book of Daniel Daniel 8 19 says he said behold I will make thee know what shall be in the last end of the indignation for at the time appointed the end shall be the time appointed, the end shall be. Daniel was given a revelation. The prophet Daniel, Matthew chapter 24, also says, when you see the abomination of desolation, according to the prophet Daniel. Daniel the prophet is a very important end time message because everything that is given to Daniel... It was told to him that he was being shown the information about the end days. And here, even now here in this passage, it says, Behold, I will make thee know what shall be in the last end of the indignation, for at the time appointed the end shall be. So Daniel is being shown the end. Daniel is being shown the end. Daniel in the Strong's Concordance is 1840. Daniel 1840 then it says that at the time appointed the end shall be in the Strong's Concordance appointed time or time appointed is 2165 and if you add Daniel together with appointed time 2165 you come to 4005 which in the Strong's Concordance is Pentecost Daniel's appointed time is Pentecost 1840 plus 2165 is 4005 Daniel's appointed time is Pentecost now when we look at the rebirth of Israel from 1948 when we look at their birthday on the Hebrew calendar, we're going to see that they were born in the second month on 5 IR in 1948. What this means is that in 1948, there was not a full Passover to Pentecost season. They were born in the middle of the season because Pentecost is can only be celebrated when you have the full season from the very beginning. You have the Passover and then you have the countdown 
of 50 days that takes you to Pentecost. Israel was born in the middle of that count in 1948. So that 1948 does not count as their first Pentecost. Now, another confirmation of this is that on Passover, April 13th of 1949, this was their first Passover because the year before, they were not even reborn yet on Passover. And so this was the first Passover of Israel in 1949, April 13th. And this is confirmed by a blood moon. Not only one blood moon, but a blood moon tetrad in 1949 and 1950, where you had four blood moons of Passover tabernacles, Passover tabernacles. And this shows us that their first Passover and their first Pentecost was 1949. Now, when we look at the prophecy of Daniel, the 70 weeks of Israel, Pentecost is the Feast of Weeks. Shavuot, Pentecost, the Feast of Weeks. The prophecy of Daniel speaks of 70 weeks. Okay? And so I think that within what we just shared about the appointed time of Daniel being Pentecost, I think that the 70 weeks prophecy also points to Pentecost as the fulfillment of the 70 week prophecy. The Feast of Weeks, 70 weeks. So if we go from 1949, 70 weeks or 70 Pentecosts, it brings us to 2019. Then Jesus gave us a parable of the fig tree that is a four-year parable because he came looking for fruit on the fig tree for three years and he was ready to cut it down at the end of the third year, but there was grace given one more year before he was going to be cutting it down. And so the four-year parable of the fig tree takes us from 2019 to 2023. Then if you look at the parable of the fig tree, according to Matthew 24, 32, and 33, it says, now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. So even the parable of the fig tree points us closer to this timing of the summer as we have already gone past the beginning of spring, the end of winter, and now we're going into the season based on Passover to Pentecost. And Pentecost then is the arrival of summer, the full harvest, the arrival of summer at Pentecost. So even the parable of the fig tree points us to summer being nigh. Again, the information coming out of the book of Daniel. Daniel 12, 11, From the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. A thousand two hundred days. And 90 days from the abomination being set up. Now, I want everyone to see that the very first case, the very first case of COVID-19 was 1,290 days exactly before Pentecost of 2023. The very first case of COVID-19, the abomination being set up, where without the vaccine, in most parts of the world, you could not buy, you could not sell, You could not go into a store. You could not get on an airplane. You could not get on a train. 
You could not get medical services. This was not fulfilled in the entire world. There were many locations that did not have this. But the majority of the world did have the COVID restrictions together with the requirement of the vaccine. The abomination being set up. November 17th, 2019 was the first case of COVID-19 reported in China. You go through all of the history of COVID-19 and patient zero and the beginning of the pandemic. It all goes back to November 17th, 2019. The abomination being set up plus 1,290 days takes us right to Pentecost. So Pentecost of 2023 is not only Israel's 74th Pentecost, and it is not only 1,290 days from the abomination being set up, but it is also 40 days from the sign of Jonah. But he answered and said unto them, an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall be no sign given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Based on the understanding of the two great American eclipses, in the middle day of the two eclipses, which happened to be December 14th, 2020, and there was another total solar eclipse over South America, you have three eclipses, and the middle day is December 14th, 2020, which happened to be the first vaccine in the United States, a sign for America. Based on the understanding of the two great American eclipses and the middle day, we found this information that the two hybrid solar eclipses from 2013 to 2023, the exact middle day, was the longest blood moon of the century over Jerusalem on July 27th and 28th of 2018. If you go from the longest blood moon of the century over Jerusalem to the hybrid solar eclipse of April 20th, 2023, the exact middle day is December 8th, 2020, the first vaccine in the world in the United Kingdom. In June of 2021, there was a total solar eclipse over the North Pole. The very next day, on June 11th, 2021, a man was swallowed by a whale. A fully documented story and article of a man being swallowed by a whale who lived to tell the story this was indeed the sign of jonah and if you go from that sign of jonah to april 20th 2023 we had another hybrid solar eclipse in the constellation of the whale and the middle day between those two eclipses was the total lunar eclipse on Israel's 74th birthday, May 15th and May 16th, 2022. Another sign of Jonah on June 24th, 2021. A boy named Jonah pulled out of the rubble in Miami, Florida, in a Jewish community. And from June 24th, the sign of Jonah, to April 20th, 2023, the total solar eclipse in Cetus the Whale, it's a total of 666 days. Two signs of Jonah separated by 666 days. Daniel's appointed time, Pentecost, 
40 days from the sign of Jonah. Israel's 74th Pentecost and 1290 days from the abomination being set up on November 17th, 2019. I pray you are blessed today. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.